Hey, welcome back to Retro Recom's News and Review. This week with me, I have Colin McConnell. Hello. And Devin Ayala. Hello. And of course, I'm Andrew Wagner. This week, we do not have Brian Perry, and we all are thankful for that. How will we survive without Brian Perry? I'm celebrating. Let's go out. I'll buy the first round. <laughs> <laughs> can I get that in writing? No, you cannot because then Damn. I'd have to actually have to do it, and mm. I'm cheap. You're you bastard. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some sad news at first. Um, EA is gonna be taking down a lot of multiplayer games this week. Taking uh, yeah. them down? I saw Bullet Storm was so? one of them. How so? Oh, the you can't. Game Spy shut down, and that was the online uh, platform that you used. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't. I never played. I never been much of an it's online a PC, multiplayer yeah. guy. So, what games are they? You got the list. Games by. <laughs> um, I mean the big ones are uh, Battlefield twenty twenty one fourteen, <laughs> <laughs> Command and Conquer Red Alert three, Crisis two, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit two, Neverwinter Nights two, Star Wars Battlefront two, and Battlefield two. Those are the most notable ones. We're probably, really? Battlefield 2 is done? <laughs> yes. Dude, I know people that still actively play that shit, like, not every anymore. day. Not <laughs> anymore. Oh, yeah, not anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we know we're going to have to address this sooner or later. The reason I probably sound like I'm all stuffed up is because I am, because there are cats here. I'm allergic to cats. He's just like Spider-Man. There's a... Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, that's right, yeah. That's Spider-Man. Yeah, that's Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. Uh, and then there was a cat chewing on Andrew's computer cord, so if this is a very brief, <laughs> abrupt news and review, that's why it's the cat chewed through his power cable. He's, he's, lo- he's lo- literally licking his lips looking at that power cord. The cat's name is Grover. Gro- not- wait. It's not Grover. It's not Grover. <laughs> I call him Grover. It's Oscar. So if he keeps if he keeps chewing on it, you can do the stupid thing. Grover. Yeah. Grover. <laughs> Grover. <laughs> kill himself out of annoyance. Yeah. All right. All right, call me back when you calm down. Yeah. Now, since we already addressed the death of many online games, mm-hmm. yes. we're going to address the birth of another. <laughs> oh. Floppy Bird is coming back with a vengeance oh, this fall with multiplayer. Are you guys excited? <laughs> How is that possible? You're going to yeah. be flying at the same time? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, that's going to be intense. They haven't released anything on it, but they just said there's going to be multiplayer and it's going to be coming back this fall. So, I got... Um, um, I want I, the I want the Oculus Rift and Morpheus. And Flabby Bird. Oh my yeah, the, god. We're, we're, we we got to put that on Kickstarter. You got to put your head. What, like, was it like a first person Flappy Bird? Yeah, remember we talked about it. We I spoke, like, oh. yeah, <laughs> we spoke of these things. And um, dude, yeah, that'll be intense. Uh yeah, I think a lot of people would pass out from like dizziness or probably like, that dude. that would be a health then, hazard. Then you have a reason to take it down. Besides, it's too addicting. Yeah, that was a stupid excuse. It's too shitty. Yeah. Well, I'm welcome. I'm well. I'm happy to welcome back Floppy Bird to the world of gaming. It'll give me something else to do while I'm on the toilet. <laughs> That's true. It's a brilliant time waster because this country needs more of its time wasted. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Better be a commie. <laughs> now to I guess what I consider a console dying. Um, the Wii U and uh, Nintendo has already said that they know what they want to do with their successor, but won't do it until they know that their customer base is happy. I believe they'll never be happy. No, not with the, not with the Wii U. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> ever happy. So, is, oh are God. we ever going to see a Wii U successor or not? Because I don't think everyone's going to be happy with that. I don't think so. I don't think we're ever going to see. I think they're going to die. <laughs> a slow, painful death. And it's going to be sad. Because... Is the successor the new console that's coming out, or is that something totally different? I don't know. Did we? There are I so think many. It's, I think it's different, or because they that's... said they they have a clear decision or a, like clear like vision of what they want to do, but they're not going to do it until the Wii U is complete. A hit, I guess. Yeah, pretty that much. which is so like anal about the whole thing. Like, well, we're not going to give you a console until you make the Wii U a hit. Good luck with that. Most people will be ha- perfectly happy letting yeah, perfectly happy with letting it die. The um, PS4 and the new Xbox 399 99 release coming out soon. So they yeah. really don't. Oh man, you know what? I want more from Nintendo. As a matter of fact, if anything, let's just not buy anything Nintendo, so we can get Nintendo on all consoles. <sighs> they have they've fallen at least two generations behind in the console wars. 
so far. So, I mean, it's just, it's... I don't even know what's going on there. You would think they, it's Nintendo. You would think they'd be, like, in the inner circle. Like, they've been making weird decisions since Nintendo 64. Yeah, pretty much. It's like they keep, the more things progress, the more they stay behind. The more ever, ever since they, um, did the whole thing, they did Sony Dirty. Yeah. And then Sony came back. And Sony and, came back with their own system. Yeah, ever since then, they've been making bad business decisions. And Very bad. You know, it would be good, though. If their new console coming out, if they named it PlayStation 5. They, they you would Sony. get sued so <laughs> they, they hard. They'd beat Sony. They'd beat Sony. That name's not, you know, mm. that name's not too No, because the PlayStation itself is a registered trademark. Okay, so call it Game Station 5000. There you go. You can do that. <laughs> yeah. Go. Game Station 5000. Excuse me while I project snot. Our next topic, after Colin stopped expelling his waste. <clears throat> <laughs> is Dean Yankaski's biggest news of the week. Big, big, big news. News from Dean. The biggest news ever, you mean, because our one true god and glorious leader <laughs> is getting his own game. Glorious leader! Kim Jong-un has yeah. a game about him coming Where you out. you get to ride flaming unicorns and end the capitalism. There you go. I can't think of a better game, actually. Well, yeah. So I mean, it's so it would exa- is somebody described it as being like Contra. Yeah. Yeah, it's like if Contra was the best game ever. Okay. If Contra had <laughs> burn all your games. Yeah. Buy Glorious Leader. Move to Korea. It's... Thank Kim Jong Un. Yeah. For the world. Not the South part either. Not the South part of Korea. South part. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Also, make sure you get your hair cut just like in Korea. Be executed. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm so glad Korea, South Korea, North Korea is still a thing. <laughs> it's like you know, we ever feel the world is getting too boring and like um, apolitical. He's a cartoon villain. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it just like there's still the, the arch nemesis still exists. Just the most ridiculous, cartoonish dictator ever. You know him and Miley Cyrus got like the same hair. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a connection there. Yeah, is Dennis Rodman going to be in the game? I hope. I, oh I really hope he is. No, no, he is. Co-op. He is. He is. He is. Co-op. Oh, he is. Dennis Rodman is in the game. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Like as like a, as a partner. Yeah, he has an AK. Oh my gosh! I can't wait to play this game now. <laughs> wow. I haven't played as Dennis Rodman since like NBA Jam. <laughs> so. Aren't you? Aren't you glad that we did this now? I told you. I'm super it's glad. It's gonna be. This game's gonna be like Shaq Fu on steroids. But they already. They have a new <laughs> Shaq Fu: The Legend Returns. Oh yay. It looks amazing. Really? That's good. Uh, that's, 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 that's yeah, good. Okay, let's move on Okay. So, back in 2001, Square Enix had some uh, financial problems. And Sony bought some shares to help them out. Uh-huh. And Recently, sold those shares. earlier this yeah. month, Sony sold the shares back to Square Enix. Everyone thought, man, Sony hates Square Enix. They must be doing shit right now. But, actuality, at least that's what they're saying is that Square Enix is actually doing pretty good, and to get Sony back some of their money, they bought back their shares. Did they owe Square Enix? Or no. Owe Sony it was kind of like, since Sony helped us out once, we'll help them out now and give them some more money. See, what I, what I tell you, remember what I said earlier? It's not like, oh, it's not bad business. It's yeah. just Square Enix is doing good, so, so why keep their shares? Like, just, you know. Mm. Just so apparently, yeah, everything's good. And doing good financially, yeah. horribly creatively. <laughs> so good, good for you, Square Enix, you fucking assholes. Well, maybe now they would start doing things better. Now that that more, yeah, more money and financial security always makes people more reticent money. to yeah, there you go. do good things. So now, um, yeah. the next Final Fantasy coming out is gonna be freaking amazing. It's gonna be uh, Final Fantasy what sixteen? No, be fifteen. Fifteen. It looks interesting. Formerly look, versus it's, thirteen. It's open world and no, 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 no. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the next step after that. Of course, oh. that's going to be amazing. Oh, this guy made who's making uh, so Kingdom the one Hearts like three. three games down the road. Yes, sixteen is like three games down the road. Yeah, yeah. After they make uh, fifteen, two, three, and um, then battle, and then all star, go go, Yubara. What's the guy's Link. name? His name's gonna be like Tree Tree Returns. A tree Returns. Hey, if 15 gets its, like, if it keeps going, I'll welcome it. Doesn't, it doesn't look bad. I, I have to see, I have to feel it first. I've seen it, and I'm like, wow, this guy should be fun and good, but. If it, if it plays, like, anything like Kingdom Hearts, I'm dropping Kingdom Hearts, and I'm picking that up. 
I'm sorry. It I... will come out before Kingdom Hearts. No, because the same guy is making him the same. Yeah, yeah like developer. if you get the tight mechanics and everything from Kingdom Hearts, and I love Disney characters, but come on, you know, sometimes it's a little bland, and you're like, ah, uh, why are they doing this? Why are they making me do this? Brian died inside. <laughs> Yeah, Brian's you you guys good. know what I'm talking about. I you're, know. you're running around. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, and then you got that fake smile on Jack Sparrow. Or... <laughs> like, now Salazar yeah. brings it back. Like, oh, yeah, it's kind of awesome. But then, uh, it's good. yeah, yeah. So 15. If it's anything like Kingdom Hearts, I'm probably gonna drop Kingdom Hearts if they keep going after three and just pick up 15 and what it has to offer. Action RPGs are the way of Final Fantasy's future, unless they go back to turn based, which I think they should. Final Fantasy XIII's battle system was pretty good. They should go with twelve. Yeah, I heard twelve was pretty good. I actually got twelve just recent, very recently. Twelve was like my favorite one. You're pirates in that game. Hmm. Well, butt pirates from kinda, Look of the Costumes. Kinda the the bunny chick. Oh my gosh, dude, marry her in a second. <laughs> I'm serious. Like she can be a to- Let's move on again Maybe quickly from like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, next game that we have to announce is that it was officially announced today, or not today, uh, like a couple days ago. Who gives yeah. a um, that Far Cry Four was announced. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there's a there's like a guy wearing purple. I and saw that. He's so, fabulous. It's fun. It's Saints Row Five. Yeah, it's Far Cry Four. It's a yeah. crossover. It's going to take place in a made-up land in India. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Or Malaysia, Malaysia. And if you know. pre-order oh, now, you can get a guy with a harpoon gun. Yeah. Huh. And the evil guy is the guy on the front the cover that they were showing. He's a dictator king that just kind of so, went in there like, yo, I'm yeah, gay. self-proclaimed. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So sounds interesting. I haven't played Final Fantasy. Yet. Final, Final Fantasy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow, okay. Far Cry Three. Far Cry Three, Three is awesome. Little yeah. I love Far Cry Three. I have not played it. I heard it was pretty damn good, so... Yeah, it was pretty damn good. I think recently we saw... Was it you, Dean, playing that? Oh, uh, I streamed it for a little while. Yeah, he was he was playing it, and this, <laughs> he was killing everything, and randomly this old lady driving a Jeep just, like, ran him over. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was, like, killing, like, 30 Komodo dragons, and then I got killed by a freaking old woman trying to get to <laughs> Old Country Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really have to play this game now. Early bird special. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew? Yeah. I didn't know you guys were done talking. Yeah, okay. Hey, we can't have dead air on this thing. Come on. <laughs> Tell it yourself, man. <laughs> okay, um, so we're going to switch, like, I guess kind of gears, and basically the rest of this thing is going to be all Xbox news. Because oh, wow. Xbox had a hell of a week in news. Um, so, PS4 has been out selling Xbox for quite a while now. Yes. But Xbox finally has to say something about that. Can oh, you guess what they had to say? Oh, no, stop X outselling us, please. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what Xbox has no, to say to that. No, that's, that's not, not what they said. Xbox is going to say, hey, we're going to do anything to win this war. They got the fucking brave, ah, well, budget they, brave heart. You failed, definitely. Face oh paint on. <laughs> and he's like, we'll do anything to win this war. We're going to... They'll moon PlayStation 4 <laughs> in the face. Yeah, and they're going to take away the Kinect. And they're going to make it the same price. And, of course, what Titanfall on there, they're going to sell like hotcakes. Sadly, I love Sony. I'm a Sony fanboy, but Xbox is going to win this. In the next year, they're going to they're, they're gonna catch up. I, I like what you're saying there. And, again... Um, Sad, I'm saying this sadly. What, what, is, what does PlayStation 4 have right now? Nothing, really. They have um, PlayStation Gold. But is plus, that good enough? Plus. Oh, PlayStation Plus. But is that you, good enough? You put Xbox Gold yeah, and then PlayStation I've Plus used it. together. It, it's not going to be good enough. It's it's not gonna. They definitely need some more games and something to push forward. They need more oomph if they bring back old games and I don't I don't know what they're gonna do. It, but um, they need something really strong multiplayer wise, and it's sad because multiplayer sells these days. Yusuf Mehdi, actually the Microsoft chief, um, laid out a plan because there's PS4 right now is in forty different markets, while Xbox One is only in thirteen. Mm. Wow. Well, wow. this September it's launching in almost uh, I think 30 plus markets. So, that alone will also help boost the sales. And then like you said earlier, they're getting rid of the Connect, which will even boost the sales even more. So, I think Microsoft actually has a bright future in its second year Very more bright. than its first year. Very bright. And PlayStation 4 
had a brighter year the first year than it's going to have the second year. So, but but you know it's funny if it was vice versa. Let's say Sony had the uh, what is it the PlayStation I what is that? Yeah, the PlayStation camera. It's not called I camera. Okay. Anymore, I don't think if they had that, and Xbox One didn't, and Xbox One was four hundred bucks from the start, and PlayStation Four was five hundred bucks from the start, and they got rid of the camera. PlayStation wouldn't catch up, but for some reason. I don't know what it is. People love Xbox so much because it 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 it, um, it, merges it appeals. Both of the best words. No, it appeals to the things that are the most popular right now, which are sports games and multiplayer games, multiplayer shooters. And it has TV. that market mostly core. Yeah, right. TV. <laughs> it has that market mostly core because it has that? the. Oh yeah, right. I, my gaming console. I want to watch fucking TV on it. Why not? Because I have a fucking TV for that. I want to play games on my game console. But why can't you just, like, watch TV on the game console when you don't it's have It's not a selling game? point for me. I'm just saying. It's, 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 and especially not when you're, that's, like, the only thing, I mean, I, I realize. It's not a selling point for most people since everyone thought that that was terrible. Yeah, they made, that was a uh, poor decision on their part. Well, I see what they were doing. Conference. They wanted, they wanted the Xbox to own the living room. That's what they wanted. Gamers were like, oh, let's give him a game. Like, they, like. I That's think why it was I'm a good, buying a gaming console. I think it was a good idea. Um, some people own PS3s. My mom's one of them. Plays no games, just Netflix all day. Xbox One is the console for her. Yeah, no, I agree with that. They want to own the not for room. Not for me, if it's it, all about TV and stuff. $100 it's not about TV at all. Actually. They made it about TV. Their one conference made about they're, TV. They're, oh, they're, they're, they're the one where they... Pri- they um, Showcase, showcase it. They shouldn't it the have public. showcased it. Yeah. All they talked about was TV. But then E3 actually made it all Fine, games. but what I'm saying is... At E3, they got had a guy dribbling. Like I'm like, oh, yeah. when the games... When you dribble, it touches the ground. It releases from your hand and the whatever energy. And then, like... I don't get my point. Is, I don't give two shits about TV. And I'm uh, good for them. They, they went away from that. But you can't tell me that wasn't a bad business decision to try and focus on TV. Well, Ed Free's got them on the right track. So. Yeah, they, yeah, they're yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, long joke that Colin doesn't get. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have. Basically, okay. Ed Free says that if you do things Better. that are fiscal, if you put smart, more games out for a console, right, you're gonna sell more for that console, right? It said no. One of his um things was do more. Just that. <laughs> mm. Do, do more. Well, do <laughs> yeah, more. suppose that makes sense. Ed Freeze is Uncle Ben. He's do a genius, more. just like Jimmy John's. Mm. <laughs> okay, on to our next card. It was already announced. Xbox is losing the Kinect, and it's going to be $400, same price point as PS4, and it evils the playing around. So, guess what? You're not going to have to pay for Kinect, and you're getting TV functionality as the same thing, but what? It plays games too? Huh? Huh? There you huh? go. Huh? Well, can do. That's, That's all I care about. I know. I'm just saying for everyone else, though, it's at least a bullet point on. Okay, what Xbox I, I have to ask everybody here, including Dean. Now that they're the same price, which is huge, because you're going to the store, you got the amount of money to buy either one. Okay, I'll say you have the money to buy it, and you got the money to buy either Xbox Gold or PlayStation Plus, and you have the money to buy one game. Which one are you getting? It's the same price now. It's it's very hard. It's honestly there aren't any games on either of them that really interest me okay. enough to buy either of them. There goes. But you have no. This this question is you. It was gun to which my head. Which one? Which one would you buy? Gun to your head. Would you buy? Probably PS4. Okay, and why? Because because you saw in the last console race they and they end up having more games that more great games. I hate to say this, but Xbox 360 did win last console. But, well, but that's but the thing. But PS3 had better, I think, better. Quality. By the end, I'm not, not talking monetarily. By the end, they the uh, PS3 had more games. Well, yeah, I mean, monetarily. Go, go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, I, this this is not about games or anything. But this was actually one analyst said why Xbox One is losing in the uh, next console race because Xbox 360 owners were actually more satisfied with their console yeah, than PS3 that. owners. That was funny. That just like. So they're not willing to upgrade just yet. Just the, and PS3 owners wanted to upgrade right away. That smug, makes no sense. Smug, that was one of the analysts, the smug yeah. grin that that guy typed that up. <laughs> <laughs> they were just more satisfied. That's my excuse. But, yeah, I just wow. found that funny that one analyst said that. I mean, it could be true, but... That's not I true. Everybody so. wants to upgrade. Yeah, everyone, uh, everyone loves new shiny technology. Pretty much. 
Not if you don't have the money, but... See, if you don't have the money, you still got a PS3. <laughs> if, I, if I had to buy one at the moment, since there isn't a game that I really want on either one, I'd probably buy PlayStation, just because it's what I have had before. So, for me, it's... I haven't owned a console since PS2, so for me, okay. it'd just be for familiarity's sake. Mm. And for me, if I had the money on me right then and there, I'm going PlayStation, only because of PlayStation Plus. And I don't even know what game I'd get with it. Yeah. But if there was no PlayStation Plus, sadly, I'd go Xbox One, only because Titanfall. Because I know I could play with my friends. See, t- yeah, Titanfall doesn't interest me enough. Only because I, I, I like playing with... I like playing, like, I'm a community-based guy, like, you know, meeting people playing with them all we're friends oh let's play this game now let's play this game you know what you guys were a multiplayer buds every game that comes out that i get we're gonna play even if it's single player like i played last yeah. of us and i still talk to my canadian friend shout out to johnny you're awesome i'm uh greatly anti-social i hate people so <laughs> yeah i don't give a shit about multiplayer um but yeah so what is that um two three sony's and of course, Andrew's gonna be and Andrew's both. Andrew's Andrew's both. Well, but no, I'll literally tell you exactly what I feel right now because I own both, so I don't have to worry about buying either one. But I, since I've owned both, I have played both, okay. and the most distinct from the last generation is Xbox One. Did PS4 we... just feels like an upgrade from. How do you mean distinct? In what way? It feels so... like a new console. Xbox or Xbox One feels like wow, they actually tried to do something different. While PS4 is kind of like oh, it's the same interface pretty much. It's just better like graphics it just it doesn't feel like a new console it just feels like they put a graphics chip in it okay so when you're playing infamous on your vita that wasn't like holy crap it glitched a lot there's a lot of problems i saw i saw it it was weird the frame yeah but that's expected i mean it's cool but again that you have to buy both of those yeah you have okay. to buy a yeah, Vita, you, you have yeah, to buy a PS4. I can't really backpack it on if you got to buy the other yeah. one. It doesn't if it comes free. with a free, I mean, hell, buy well. a PS4 right now. <laughs> but it doesn't. And I'm just saying that since I've played both, I own both, I know both, Xbox feels like a new console, while PS4 right now just feels like a slight upgrade. I, I can respect your answer. Yep. I really can, because you know what? I hate to say this, but when I was playing the PS4 with you just the other day... <laughs> When I was playing the PS4 with Andrew just the other day, I did... It's not a bad thing. I actually think it's good. I, I felt like I was playing a PS3. Mm. But it, it's not a bad thing. I think it's more comfortable. Right. Then when I played the Xbox One with Andrew, it, it, it felt like, I don't know, like... I don't even know. Like, going on a date with a cyborg. I didn't know, <laughs> know what the hell to do. Okay. I'm like, oh, hey. Hey, cyborg lady. I don't... That uh, wouldn't exactly be a selling point for me, but... <laughs> You've also never had sex with a what, robot. Obviously not. It feels better than anything. Whatever ever happened to Robot Jones? No? Nobody gets that? No. I get that. Oh, Dean! <laughs> okay. Wow, that was a long Moving thing. Moving okay. on. Next thing so was that people's, people, uh, analysts, are actually, Xbox themselves, are saying since Kinect will be gone, they can actually use that 10% of RAM and memory and everything that was used for the Kinect. And make the Xbox more powerful. Ooh. Mm. Again, just more Microsoft news that is plussed. Well, they were... I don't know if this is true, but weren't they just a teeny bit below the power of the PS4? Now they could match it or go beyond it? Pretty much, yeah. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, it's it's compressed data. I, I forget exactly. Dean probably could t- tell you the specs if he knew it. I, I'm not a specs guy. Um... But it's compressed data, and it's a lot harder to get into it with the Xbox One than it is with PS4. So that's why some developers right now can't get to 1080p or 60 frames per second for every single game. Oh, yeah, because they have, uh, essentially, I think that their RAM speed is different. Yeah. And, like, even one developer said, hey, right now, I understand if you can't get 1080p, but next year, once developers have time to play with it, every game will be 1080p, and no one will have this war. And the true difference between 1080p and 900p or 720p is not that big of a difference, and people shouldn't have d- about it. Honestly, I mean, Watch Dogs yeah. even coming out on PS4 at 900p. So honestly, this is how I feel about 1080p and all that and all that stuff. I don't know what Last of Us will make it look great. <laughs> so well, PS4 or PS3 can only run at 720p, but they get upscaled to 
what, 1080, I think. Exactly. So, like, I don't, like, if the graphics look great and, and everything, I'm not buying a console for the 1080p and, the, and all that stuff. Yeah. It's good that it has it, but you're not going to sit there in a Best Buy and tell me, oh, <laughs> well, PS4 got 1080p, and I'm like, well, show me the games, show me the prices. Yeah. That's all, yeah, I mean... Not to be a one note guy, but all I care about is if your games are fun, man. That's why you buy a gaming console. Yeah, to game. exactly. I yeah. Uh, so I mean, show me a really great game that one of these consoles comes out with. And, and before, I'll, I'll... selling point for PS3 for a lot of people was free online. Now it's not free online. So now, now you're asking, well, what are the Xbox Gold perks? What are the PlayStation Plus perks? These are these. Are... And I honestly, I, I'm sad to say, I know Xbox is gonna. It's and. I'll say I'll say in a year or two they're gonna be above PlayStation, and I'm a, and I'm a Sony fanboy saying that it's just I don't know Microsoft just has this thing like I, I don't want to I don't know if it's because I live in America that so many people love Xbox I don't know Xbox is definitely a North American console it is know. and I I don't know what it is just people just love it just love it so even at the <laughs> press conference they say oh a lot of gamers were mad at the Xbox press conference this was every Microsoft guy. Oh, wait to just wait to E three. That was just the they were just showcasing it, whatever, whatever. And I was like, when PlayStation, when when Sony showcased it, they showed games and stuff. Yeah, but they have so much for Xbox going on that they have to split it up. Also, like, I, I don't know I, why I people love it. I didn't think it was a bad idea to show no, not many games at their press conference because it is announcing a console, not announcing games. True. And E three is about games. So if Microsoft took that approach, then they showcased their console. Well, PS4 was like, hey, we have a new console, but check out the games. Yeah, but well, give people what they want. Yeah. I know, but I'm saying, like, if you Still make a they console their, they, for... The way they presented their priorities were messed up. Well, uh, it's called a platform for a reason. It's just the thing that you're using to play the game. Yeah. And they're trying... The Xbox is, you know, trying to go beyond that, but a lot Which of people don't care. Which is cool if that's a secondary or a tertiary thing, but the way they presented it was kind of like a... The thing what I don't get about people is Xbox One and PlayStation 4 are giving you great quality gaming that if you were going to go out and buy a gaming PC, you're going to be spending way more than 400 bucks. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I've My never... graphics card was $400. Exactly. <laughs> and Dean's PC looks like the third boss in Shadow Claw. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's huge. Yeah. Um... my games that's true. But yeah, he was playing Dark Souls too, and it looked amazing. The swooshing of the, the swooshing cape, <laughs> swoosh cape. That sounds weird. A sploosh cape. Um. So, Xbox has also had a uh, firmware update, which will improve uh, party chat mm. and some uh, recording tweaks that were glitchy. Again, antisocial. So I don't really care. Yeah, party you don't chat. care. <laughs> but this is their second update within two weeks, which mm. basically says, hey. We're willing gearing. to update, yeah, and we're, we're trying, keeping yeah. comps in. So it's, up for something. it's it's good. Yeah, I, I'm good. good happy about that. Yeah. One would hope you would update your new console frequently. Yeah, no, but like, like could be some people don't, not do and it. some games, some games like this. I know these console games different, but I mean, again, we'll beat up uh, Batman Arkham Origins. They never updated that game. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Again, like a year ago, I would I would have wouldn't have been surprised if they just didn't update shit and act yeah. generally stupidly. But now, good for them. They're... Yeah, yeah. Didn't they say they were gonna concentrate more on games and on people? And I didn't believe them when they first said it. Matter of fact, if we went back to news and review, you'd probably hear me say like, "Yeah, whatever." But yeah. they're actually, you know, they're actually trying. <clears throat> so, next part is another thing that uh, Devin was talking about. How uh, he wants to know what Xbox Gold gives you compared to PS Plus. Well. Xbox Gold is no longer now required to use Netflix and Hulu and other streaming devices. Oh, so it's much like PlayStation Plus now. So you don't need Xbox Gold to use that, much like you don't need a PlayStation Plus to use that. Mm. So now you don't have to pay to do that, which would make a lot of people happy. Mm. Which, people. again, if your mom would ever get an Xbox One, she wouldn't need a Gold membership to watch Netflix. She was talking about it, believe it or not. So, mm. not lying. <laughs> She's like, oh, I could talk to people on the Connect, and they could see my face like the Jetsons. I'm like, yes, mom. <laughs> you hear, you right here first, folks. The Devin's Jetsons. mom. Devin's mom may go Xbox. <laughs> she, she might. Just because of the Jetsons. The last console she bought was a Sega, and I'm not lying. So, wow. She bought it for herself too. Hmm. 
every every console after that was bought for the kids. Dad, Dad Sonic, though. <laughs> that, no, she bought it for Mortal Kombat 3. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> I wow. like your mom. Yeah, your mom's cool. Pretty awesome. Okay, so, playing off Xbox Gold, they're also going to be releasing games games for gold for Xbox One this upcoming month. Ooh. Is it a, is it a, Andrew, let me ask you, is it a fifth of a game? No, it's not a fifth of a game. <laughs> what is it? They're giving two full games this month. Whoa, oh, two full boy. games? Yeah. You gotta pay for anything to unlock the rest of the games? Nope, they're completely free, and you don't have to keep playing as a gold member. Like, once you end your gold, you still have that game forever. So, oh, dude, it's they, a plus okay, up that on right PlayStation there, they, Plus. They just basically pooped, they just basically pooped on them. That's, because you know, once you end your PlayStation Plus thing, it's it's gone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It, it's gone. Um, This month they're giving you Max uh, the Trials of Brotherhood, I think it's called. They're, uh, the Curse of Brotherhood, my bad. I don't even know what that is. It's an Xbox One and PSC game only. Oh, okay. uh, I think it's Xbox 362, I can't remember. But it's kind of like a 3D platformer kind of game. It's pretty cool. I'm actually kind of excited to get to play it because I saw it and I was like, wow, this could be fun. But then I'm like, I don't want to pay the money. Now it's free, so I'd, I'm happy. I'd be excited to play any game for free. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And they're also giving you Spartan. <laughs> that's, that's time, though. You're investing time. Time is money, my friend. Oh, yeah, true. Comes to the man who never had a job. Oh, well, it looks like I'm getting one soon, so thanks to you, too. So what are you talking about? He, he directed that movie with uh, Justin Timberlake in time. Yeah, that's right, I did. Time literally is money. Exactly. Uh, oh, that, uh, that movie. Okay, never mind. The movie was, was not true. bad. It's not good, though. It was okay. It, I liked it. To a I they, didn't know why they didn't the age. The best part that of that movie weird. is the girl's, like, hip to waist ratio. That's true, yeah. Very attractive ladies in that. And the second game you get for free is <laughs> Halo Spartan Assault, which is a isometric I knew twin that, stick shooter. I knew they were going to give you that game for free, because so, that game did poop, didn't you, it? You got two the shitty market? games. No, um, I actually played Spartan Assault, and it's fun. Uh, it's well, not, Spartan I mean, it's Assault is multiplayer, right? You can so you play, play co-op with, with it now, yeah. With so, I think it'd be fun um, playing two-player through it. And uh, Max, I think it got decent reviews. I mean, but also, what games are they going to give you for Xbox One right away? Like, Forza? No, they're going to wait till like, fall to give you that for free. Why don't so, they give you, like, oh, I was going to say something. Stupid. I think it's a good start. But, yeah. I was gonna say, why don't they give you like Gears One? I'm like, wait a minute. It's not for Xbox One. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so wait, these are only for Xbox One? Well, Games for Gold is already on Xbox 360. Yeah. But the Xbox One games you're getting this month are <laughs> Max, The Curse of Brotherhood, and Spartan Assault. Right. Right. Okay. So now you're talking about you wanted a game that looks good for one console, didn't you? There, Colin. Yes, I did say that. So those are my words. Sunset Overdrive is coming exclusively. To Xbox, Xbox One. One. In that game, you can play with your buds, right? Yes. You can play with your buds. I'll and it looks damn fun. Plus, I, I, I really I like um, Insomniac. Have they shown off any gameplay for They you? have. I'll show you some later. Okay. Please do. Yeah, I gotta see gameplay, because it's, it's a weird... It actually, um, it actually looks really cool. We I uh, like... did a uh, trailer park for it, actually. I was not here. I remember when I saw it, um, the guy was sliding on the thing. She was fighting zombie-type people. It was I read a the... cinematic trailer, yeah. Mm -hmm. I read the Game Informer, everybody, in Andrew's bathroom. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, keep, he keeps gaming. He's, he's a real gamer. He I, I, I like reading material. This guy's bathroom's amazing, by the way. <laughs> he just has them there. Just It's the three latest issues. Three latest issues. And then he, he updates it every time he gets a new yep. issue and takes away. Yeah. It's so convenient. So... Andrew's bathroom. Visit it. Yeah, come over to Andrew's house. Find him, and he will let you use his upstairs bathroom. Yeah, and uh, well, it depends. If you, you had can, a burrito, no. You, you can take pictures. Um, he'll that sign cost the you pictures. Fifteen dollars a picture. Though. He'll sign the pictures. He will sign the pictures. Okay, now nothing so said. Well, mm -hmm. nothing just like sent it over drive that. But the devs have come out and said why they're Xbox exclusive. Because they used to be Sony exclusive. Yes. Wait, what, what, what did they make before? Is it Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank? Ratchet Spyro and, Clank. and Resistance. Mm. Resistance 3 was really good, but nobody bought it. I love Resistance I heard 3. Resistance 3 wasn't so good. No, Resistance 3 was it's amazing. Great. It's great. It was the best out of all three of them. It was amazing. Uh, no one played it. No easily, one played it. Easily the best. The trailer for it. The and the Horde mode. Was really cool. It, it, I love that game. I can't say much. I, I think I praised it when we did the trailer park for Sunset Overdrive. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll praise it again. Go out and buy it. Cover of a Bob Dylan song is the 
the music for the first trailer, cinematic trailer. That's all I. That's all I remember from it. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> Four years ago, actually, I remember that. So, wow, dude. Yeah. They've yeah. come out and said why they ditched Sony. It's not because Microsoft gave them a lot of money. Allegedly. It's not. Allegedly. It's because Sony wanted to own part of their IP. And Microsoft said, hey, come to our side. We're going to let you have the IP. Because Microsoft has never done anything like that before, taking somebody's IP. Yeah, but I'm saying they made the deal like, hey, you can have it. Mm. Allegedly, have it. allegedly. I think money had something to do with it. Money always has something to do with it. Maybe that is, I, I won't lie. I'd be it, less inclined to agree with you, but Microsoft just, especially at their conference, they were just throwing money at their products. That's true. ESPN. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What else did they have? Uh, just all their sports deals. And yeah. All this, all that stuff, you know. And now when you see a Call of Duty advertisement, it's it plays better oh, yeah, on Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Well, also, Battlefield is PS4 or, or play well, Sony exclusive. So, it, well, but they I mean, they just first. took off opposite things. Oh, yeah. Well, well, Battlefield, I'll say they they took the table scraps. (laughs) They got Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty makes so much more money than Battlefield. Yeah, Call of Duty makes so That's what I said. Like, Sony had to to take the the, the table scraps. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So, the last two things on our list are game announcements. Mm. And they're Halo exclu- or Xbox exclusive. Oh, Halo! No, no, yep. no, no, no. Halo Five: The Guardians was mm. announced. That's what it's called. I thought it was called something. Like Halo Five. In this the game, Guardian. you get to play as Master Chief wearing a cape and burlap <laughs> sack. As things come out the sand and look at you, and then then go like, mmm, yeah. And then Tom Cruise is running away from the the thing, and everybody's turning into ash. That's <laughs> War of the Worlds. That's War of the Worlds. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Um, yeah, so, I mean, I'm a huge Halo fanboy. I love yeah, everything yeah. that has to do with Halo, and... Halo 4 is a bit of a disappointment. I still liked it. I mean, it was short, and it was... I mean, I I was... If it came from Bungie, I would have been upset. But if it it came from 343 Studios, which I thought was a great adaption to, of Halo, for yeah. Studios, like, only... What? Uh, they did, uh... Anniversary. The anniversary edition. Yeah. Which I think they did a great job with Halo 4 because that's the only thing they had to do with it. Hmm. And now I'm really excited with Halo 5 because they got to make one game. They got to do the anniversary edition. Mm -hmm. And now they're getting, like, this other big game. They're taking their time with it. It's not coming out until fall 2015, I think. Mm. And I'm just really excited for it now. I'm I'm interested to see where they go with the story. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the the ending of that was... the, The fourth one was pretty... Pretty uh spoiler alert, the Didact dies and uh well, Cortana, Cortana is, is gone. Is now yeah. gone. I think Master Chief is gonna go insane. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the idea is that he's like a nomad or something. Um I yeah, I'm I i can not say more about Halo or I'm just gonna Well we see Master Chief's face in this game. No, they're never gonna show Master Chief's face. They're not, no. I hope they don't at least. How do they how how do you think Bungie feels? Coming out with Destiny, blah blah blah. Halo five getting released. They just the guy that originally did fuck um, Halo, he's uh, taking shots. Like, no, they they let Halo go. They maybe. they watched. No, you, it basically they somebody's got, like, you're, that's your child. Well, actually, a lot of Bungie employees, I think, were stayed they around stayed for around, three, yeah. Four or three, oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. Um, I hope I can't remember their names. God, I know some of them, but yeah. that sucks. That you're just like, that's my. That's well, there mine. there you go again. I think if Bungie had the choice, they would probably be like, we're never making it. No, there would never be another Halo game made. We're done. Yeah, but no, I, I, I bet they, were, Microsoft, they wanted to do something Microsoft else. owns the IP, so they kept it and resigned yeah. it. They, they, mean, they own the IP since 2001. They yeah. Wanted, yeah, they wanted to be Nox them. More Spider-Man! <laughs> but, um... Need more. And, the, <laughs> and, Spider-Man. <laughs> and they promised Halo was coming to the Xbox One this year, and they did that with Halo, the Master Chief Collection. It's Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4... <laughs> All remastered for Xbox One. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know how to. React You'll to get that. Halo, the old Halo, but you get Halo. <laughs> I mean, sure, I guess you can play them in, in nicer looking. I'm actually really excited for this. You'll get old Halo. The, but the, all the other th- dude, I own all of them. I, I know, but I played Anniversary. How much and is it, it was be? so beautiful compared to the first one? How? Mm. And I want to see Halo Two because that was like my favorite game. The multiplayer maps and everything. And also think, all multiplayer maps from those games combined into one multiplayer. Yeah, that'd be cool. And it's a multiplayer for Xbox One, which mm. will just be... 
So are they building the games from the ground up, or is it going to be higher? Like, um, it's no, they're not going to build it from the. They're going to put another nice, neat looking sheen on them. Glaze it, glaze it over, <laughs> yeah. slather it in glaze. And I wonder if they'll have the same thing we can turn back and forth. I love that. I thought that was awesome. That, was, that would be cool. cool. That, that was really so cool. hard to do though because they needed both engines actually because they actually used a new engine to make a Halo, Halo Anniversary look pretty. Mm. And so when they had, they had to have both engines running on the disc. And so they had to flip between each one. That's crazy. So to have all those games, they probably would have to have multiple discs, maybe, to have, like... Well, you get a cool little box set, hopefully. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying it'll, it'll be... it'll be Maybe it'll be cheap, or... I think, it's, hopefully, it's, like, 40 or 50 bucks. I don't know. It'll be worth it, I think. I'd buy it. I, I probably am buying it. Because then, look, now you got a real reason that... Oh, man, dude. Release, um, you're releasing the um, Xbox for 400 bucks, just... Slap that in there. No, oh, that actually that could be an easy really, bundle for the that's fall. Really what is easy it? A bundle rule? That is amazing. <laughs> easy bundle rule. Easy bundle rule. <laughs> yeah, that dead cell. That's your uh, your mascot right there. There you go, Ed Freeze. Tell him to do that. Ed Freeze, yeah, Make get on that. Halo bundle. But uh, yeah, that's how. I think Ed Freeze needs to go to Nintendo. Oh. <laughs> he really needs to work Nintendo. Okay. Okay. Well, actually, that that would work because they really need somebody to just slap them in the face and, and tell them, tell really them to obvious, do obvious stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Make better games. <laughs> just stop with the consoles. Just stop it. Okay. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, this wraps it up for this week on uh, News and Review. 